Okay, Z, so today I'm just gonna go over the basic steps uh, for effective memorization. Um, I've been making a bunch of videos on how I memorize scripture or how do I memorize people's names, but um, maybe it might be a little confusing. So uh, because I don't really show you how to do it, I've given you a bunch of links to watch to um, show you how to do it, but this is just my take on how to do it. So, um, First thing is, you know, why? Why do we memorize scripture? Um, and I have the verse up is all scriptures God breathed, useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work, right? That's 2 Timothy 3 16 through 17. And Paul was telling Timothy, you know, um, don't forget the uh the holy scriptures that you grew up with, right? Um and of course, back then it was the Old Testament. Before us, we have the Old Testament and the New Testament. Um, I'm I'm not sure how much of the New Testament that Timothy would have had because you know people um, the apostles were writing. But anyways, but we have Scripture, and you know um, we're called we're called to memorize Scripture. I mean, I'll go over a bunch of verses maybe after um, I finish, but um, we're called to memorize Scripture, and you know um, I had like. Do we not memorize our favorite songs? Do we not memorize, you know, um, important things that are important to us? So this is the the word of God is God breathed. These are words that God has given us. So why don't we memorize that, right? And I think a lot of people are go, oh, they can't do it because they're dumb or they're not good at memory. And if you talk to any, I, I think I've said this before, but if you talk to any person that practices these methods they'll tell you you're wrong it's not that you're dumb or it's not that you're you know whatever it's just that you just don't know how you don't know how to memorize right so that's why they're teaching and that's why i'm teaching i'm teaching you how to memorize scripture because you can do it anybody anybody that wants to do it can do it you know right and it's not like this it, it does take work it does take work to do it um i practiced it for maybe like two years before i was like okay i'm gonna teach this you know but it didn't take that long to actually learn it but it did take um time to actually get get there and you know um some people might say well you know i'm just not good at it. and they give up after like i think it was like three weeks but they don't even practice every day right I don't want to be negative, but I'm just saying, you got just keep at it. Do it every day. Psalm 119, 97 says, oh, how I love your law. I meditate on it every day. So, and I'm sure he wasn't using the memory techniques, <laughs> but he meditate on it and just do it. And this will help you uh, memorize scripture faster. And yeah, it'll be easier and sometimes fun, right? But we're not here for fun. We're here to do it too, because we're called to do it, right? This is God's word for us, and it will help us for ourselves, encourage ourselves, encourage other believers, um, uh, share the gospel. Uh, there's so many benefits, makes us wise, Psalm uh, 19, 7. Um, but yeah, so I'll talk about all this later, but yeah, this is why it's important to do it, okay? So um, I think the first thing I'll go is, okay, everything I know, I learned from YouTube online. Like 2015, I watched a video about a guy who was able to memorize things, but he didn't actually show me how to do it, but he was just explaining how he was just a normal guy and he won the memory championship, right? So it made me want to look into it more. And back then, the only person that I could find that was doing it was Ron White. He was, he's a, um, I don't know, how many times memory champion guy. And he was the only one that I could find on YouTube that was actually showing how he does stuff. And everything I learned is from him, um, from these people that I'm just kind of combining. I've watched countless of hours of videos, uh, read a lot of articles and stuff like that. But yeah, I want to give him the props because he was basically the first guy that I saw that was actually showing how to memorize people's names, how to use this system, how to use this. So I'll, I'll put a link to him. I always do his, his channel. Um, LBCC uh, dash memory tricks. There's a teacher that uh, was teaching this um, and you can, you can, YouTube him, Google him, Bible memory goal. Um, he just started and he's, <clears throat> um, he's has these clips of him reciting scripture books of the Bible um, by memory. And then he's recently started to show more stuff too. Angel Lewis, A Minds, he's been a long time guy too. And he's been showing, 
um, how to use the matrices, how to memorize numbers, right? I liked his videos. You can watch Nelson Dallas. He currently, I think he won five or six or five. Um, congrats to him, but he, he, you know, he has five titles of the U.S. memory champ um, that he's been working really hard for. Um, he shows a lot of stuff. Alex Molin, he's, uh, I think, I don't know what he, he hasn't done much recently, but yeah, he, he has some videos on like uh, medical stuff, how to, how to memorize medical terms. And um, so it's pretty good. Anthony Medivier, he still does stuff. So watch his videos. Yanja is, uh, is um, she, she started making videos now. She has a program too. So if you want to try that, but everything I, I got, I learned from watching these people. Um, and then I took what I learned and then I use it to memorize scripture, um, memorize people's names. Um, I, I was the worst. I had the worst memory. Yeah, I would say untrained memory. I want to say I, I was like, I can't remember anything. I couldn't memorize people's names. I couldn't memorize... Um, yeah, I, I know my cousin used to, who was a pastor, used to make fun of both of us because we both can't memorize people's names back then. Right now, people come to me to say, hey, what was his name? What was that? What, what's her name? Blah, blah, blah. But I mean, I'm not bragging, but I'm just saying the technique works because I could not memorize anything back then. Um, uh, so anyways, so um, what are the first steps that I, I think that is, uh, this is from Ron White, but he goes, you have to focus, right? The reason why you don't memorize people's names, remember people's names is because number one, you're not focused, right? You're not focused. You're, when you meet them, you're just, um, if you're honest with yourself, sometimes I say this, if you're honest, you really don't care what the name is. As human beings, we're kind of like, oh, what can this person do for me? We have that kind of attitude. And as Christians, we shouldn't have that attitude. Our, our, our attitude is how can we share the gospel? How, what can we do for this person, right? So first thing is you focus. You focus on hearing their names. Don't worry about, I've said this in the videos, but don't worry about um, what you know, what should I talk about next? Or I don't, I'm afraid of the awkward silence or something like that. Nope. Focus on hearing their name. And I think Ron White goes like, when you're approaching somebody in your head, go, okay, what is their name? What is their name? What is their name? Okay. So that might be a good idea. And sometimes, you know, I've done this for a long time and I still forget, but number one is focus. You have to focus, right? And then number two is file. File is important because you need to file what you're trying to memorize somewhere, right? And I remember this clip that Ron White was doing was like when he meets people, he writes their name on the paper and then he throws it and he writes their name and he throws it on. And so there's a bunch of papers on the ground and he goes, so when you see that person six months later, whatever, you're going on the ground and looking for their names, right? But you don't do that with anything else. You don't do that with, you know, storing your toy, kids' toys or, you know, um, paper or anything. You, you store somewhere. You put your socks in the socks drawer. You put your underwear in the underwear drawer. You put your shirts in the shirt drawer, right? So we do, why, why don't we do the same thing? Computers, when you have music, music, pictures, documents, you store that in a file instead of just leaving it all messy on your desktop. Oh, my desktop might be kind of little, but you know, that's, you store it. You go, oh, this is my music file. So that's, I want to find that music. It's going to be in the music file. That's why you file it. So that's very important. Okay. So picture. So this one is, you're just going to have to get used to it, right? You, you're going to create a picture for whatever you want to memorize, right? So we'll go over that in a little more in, in depth, as well as glue. So whatever you want to memorize, you create a picture for that. And then you want to glue it to your file. And how you do that is you create a funny story, a story so that you will, um, that's how you file it. All right. And then most important, review. Okay. I keep looking at myself in this video. but So review. This is most important, right? Um, yes, this is a faster way to memorize things. This is um, an easier way to memorize things, but you it, it doesn't take away from review. You have to review less. That's a guarantee, right? But you still have to review. You know, it's better than rote memory. I'll tell you that right now. Like, um, we'll go through it. And if you watch my videos, you're going to be like, oh, this is too hard. This is too hard. Yeah, it's too hard to learn the technique. But once you get it, it's easy. You can use it for anything. And you just have to practice. And there's no way I can convince you to do this and uh, convince you unless you do it yourself. Maybe you can watch my videos and, um, uh, and hear other testimonies from all those guys that I shared. But 
do the only way is you do it yourself and then you'll see and then just keep working at it just work hard okay so review 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 you can use spatial repetition you can just do it every day whatever works for you all right so that's one of the cool things about this these memory texts is whatever works for you and works the best for you so you keep working at it you keep working at it okay so um, one of the, I, I did a video, oh, one thing about reviews, I did a video on how to memorize people's names, right? And one of the ways you can review is you pray for them. First, Tim, uh, First Timothy 2.1 says that, you know, um, first of all, I urge you that um, uh, Thanksgiving prayer, uh, intercession, supplication be made for all people. Um, and then it's because, you know, First Timothy, go down to verse four, it says, because God desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. So yeah, um, I messed up the order of the first first Timothy two one, but anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, uh, that's that's a one way to review. But why not? Why sh we we should be praying for those we meet, right? There's a reason why we met them. There's a reason why God put them in our lives. Um, so um, memorize people's names, pray for them, especially for those who are in your church so that you can know who they are, all right? So review, okay, so creating a picture for whatever you wanna memorize, right? First one is it has to be silly or the sillier it is, the more um, you'll be able to memorize it. If it's something normal, then it's gonna be hard, but just think about it. Like if you think about, oh, what you ate yesterday or whatever, what you ate last week, it's like, oh, I can't remember, I just, you know, I can't remember, but you'll remember stuff that you, you know, embarrassing things that happened to you in second grade, uh, or, um, you know, uh, your, um, so, you know, or even traumatic things that happened, like, you know, I got in a car accident, like, three years ago, um, I still remember what time it was, the day it was, what happened, but I can't remember what I ate last week, or, you know, what I did at work last week, or something like that, so the sillier it is, just make it silly, so people like to say stupid, and um, I don't like to use that word, especially if kids are watching my thing, but, but it has to be silly, you know, make it funny, the funnier it is, the better it is, okay, uh, play on words, you have to remember that, you know, some words you can't just create a picture for, so for example, if I tell you, close your eyes right now, I don't know if you're gonna do it or not, but just close your eyes, right, and then imagine a lion, so when you think of a lion, you want to think, you know, you, you can picture a lion, you know, the fluffy hair, um, let's see, the, the maybe, you know, it's roaring, and then, you know, maybe it's stinky, you know, and then you, you can see the tail wag, okay, um, but now I say, imagine the word when, now, there's no picture for when, so you play on words, so you create a word for when, and mine is, I just, take off the W and imagine hen, right? So from now on, the word when, if I ever have to memorize when, I'm gonna memorize, uh, I'm gonna remember the word uh, or picture in my head, um, a hen, okay? So hen is gonna represent when from now on, okay? That is a hat, right? So those, those are the play on words that you're gonna, um, that you have to create these uh, images for words that don't really have an image okay so action is important so this is when you memorize something and you want to file it somewhere and you want to you want you want to glue it you have to create action right so if you look at my screen right now and I go like this right which hand are you looking at you're looking at the hand that moves why because your brain is interested in things that move so that's why um, you gotta have action involved Okay, um, we, we'll practice this later. Okay, clear. Clear is kind of like, eh, how to explain it? Um, I think in, in current terms, it's like HD. You want to imagine everything. So when you imagine that lion, you got to imagine the eyes, the nose, the roaring, the stinkiness, the tail wagging, and, you know, and make it clear, the HD. Um, don't just go, oh, lion, right? Okay, emotion, the more emotion you have, the better it is. So for example, like um, like I said about the accident, you know, I was angry, I was shocked that happened. So those are things that you remember. Um, so the more emotion, love, you know, um, joy, uh, the more emotion that you're able to put in it, the easier it'll stick, okay? Um, one of the hints is use 
everything that you know for so for example the sense of smell touch um sound um use different languages that you know so um yeah for um use people you know like for example like the language like i'm trying to memorize um scripture in spanish right so there's a uh isu plentitude right that's one of the verses for uh i think it was yeah psalm 24 1 isu plentitude and then e is y and then su right so isu is in japanese chair so i imagine a chair and the way i do that is i put like a japanese flag on it just so that i remember that that's a japanese isu and not the chair that I'm just trying to memorize a chair, okay? So the more languages you know, actually the more you know, the better it is for you. Like, you know, if I'm trying to memorize Will, then, you know, for me, I'll, you know, I'll think of Will Smith or something like that, but somebody else who doesn't know Will Smith won't use that. They'll probably use another Will or something, or, or a Well or something like that. Um, but yeah, the more you know, the better it is. That's why it's really great for adults. Like, you know, kids, they just learn so much so fast. But granted, um, this will help them too. But um, the more you know, the better it is. So, um, okay. So that's a basic stuff, right? So I'm going to go over the PEG system real quick. I did a video on it already. So I'm not going to go through it. Just watch the other video, okay? The uh, PEG system, I think I use this to memorize the Ten Commandments, the Sunday School version. So watch that video. All right. So one, this is PEG system. So this you're using the shape of the number, and then that's the that's this. These are files. All right. Whatever you want to memorize, you're trying to file it onto this. But you're using the shape of the number. So real quick, one. This is a pencil. Is a one. Number two is a swan. You see the two in there. Three is a McDonald's sign. Four is an upside down chair. You see the four. Five is a hook. Six is a cherry. Seven is a thunderbolt. You see the seven in here. Eight is a racetrack. Nine is a balloon. Ten is a plate. And, uh, what do you, see? you see the 10, right? The knife and plate. Now, these aren't the, it, these are images that I use. You could use your own. For example, a lot of people use, like they could use handcuffs for eight, uh, eyeglasses for eight. Um, I know for four, they, some people use a sailboat. You know, you see the four, uh, sail of a sailboat that looks like a four. So this is, you know, but these are your files. Now, how do I use this? For example, like, let's just do real quick. If I'm trying to memorize um, first thing you have to do is memorize these. One is a two. I mean, one is a pencil. Two is a swan. Three is a McDonald's. Like, memorize that first. So take some time to do that. And then what you're going to do is, so this is my file. And let's just say I want to memorize, I don't know, um, uh, the names of the disciples. Okay. First one is Peter. So Simon Peter, right? So I'll imagine, so I have an image for Simon and the image will be some, maybe playing Simon Says or uh, Peter will be Peter Pan, right? So um, I can imagine this pencil and doing Simon Says with Peter Pan, okay? That's the glue, the funny story that I'm creating so that I can I could store what I want to memorize on this pencil, which is going to be my file. Number two is uh, Andrew. So Andrew will be, maybe I'll imagine an ant drawing a swan. And drew an ant drew a swan, right? He's drawing it and he's working hard on it. And he's going, oh, this is really no good or something like that. Or I have a friend named Andrew and he's riding the swan and he's having fun. He says, my friend Andrew is on the swan and then just having fun. Next three is um, uh, uh, James. Uh, this is James, son of Zebedee, right? So James is working at McDonald's and he's serving me food and it smells really good, you know, James or James for me, sometimes the play on words that I use is chains. So when I meet a James, I'm going to imagine a bunch of, he's carrying a lot of chains, right? So maybe this McDonald's sign has a bunch of chains on it, okay? Um, Four is John. So John, I imagine uh, it's usually a toilet. You know, we call, I'm um, going to the John, like toilet. So maybe I'll imagine this be looking like a toilet seat or my friend John sitting on this chair, but he's going to the bathroom. Okay, that's really, okay. But it's silly. Do you see what I'm doing, right? So those, you know, um, um, that's what you want to do. So the fifth one is, um, uh, oh, Philip, Philip, right? So I just imagine um, for me, that's a hook, but I always use Captain Hook because I could do a lot more things with that. But let's just say I'm just flipping a hook, right? Fill up, fill up, flipping. 
I'm flipping the hook, all right? So that's how you can use this, right? And all you have to do is review, review. So I go back, you know, one, oh, Simon says, yeah, Simon Peter, right? Two, Andrew, three, James, uh, son of Zebedee, um, I, I, I use a B and all that, John, right, Philip. So you keep working on that. So this is a PEG, uh, PEG system. You can uh, watch my other videos. The other one is a memory palace. Memory palace is, um, I've done a bunch of videos on that, uh, but it's it's the most effective way. You can you can memorize the disciples using this, anything using this, right? The other one is just uh, in a, is an option. I use all three memory techniques. Actually, I think there are four because I use a story method anyways, but anyways. So memory palace, it's also called a bunch of different things, method of loci or loci or something like that. And the, but the concept is the same, all right? So first thing is you wanna go somewhere that um, for beginners, it has to be somewhere you're familiar with. So use your own home, use your friend's home, home uh, you know, anywhere, anywhere. You can you can make, make a memory pass anywhere. You watch my videos, I did it outside, I do it at a friend's house, anywhere. So, but the main concept is this. Ron White does a really good explanation of, the, the, of this, so watch his uh, clip. But you stand at the door and then you choose items that go in a circle, right? You go in a circle. So I'm standing at the door and then I go, okay, there's a piano here, there's a camera here, lamp, TV, window, whatever. And I memorize all that. I memorize where everything is. And that's why you use somewhere that's familiar because you know, you already know where they are. Like I could go, you know, my bedroom, right? I, I go to the door and I know there's this is a bathroom section and there's a TV there and it's on a, it's on a stand. There's a window, there's my ironing board and then there's a cabinet, there's my bed, right? I, I don't have to be there to be like, where's everything? So it's easy. So, and then you number them. So I have a bunch of things here, but when you memorize scripture, the hint that I use is, you know, I want to know what verse I'm talking about. So I'll only choose basically five, or you could do 10 if you want, whatever works for you. That way I know, okay, chapter one, verse one, two, verse three, verse four, verse five. So I only choose five items, but you could, depending on what you memorize, you could do as many as you want. But you just go in a circle, and one of the things is um, uh, you want to choose big items. Um, that's not a rule that just works for me, but sometimes I use small things, right? Maybe there isn't five big, big items in, in this room. So I'll use small things. It's just easier, and I've seen, I, I've noticed that it's easier, but there's really no rule. Whatever works for you, you could use in all kinds of, you know, you could use a mouse on a cabinet. You could use, um, you know, uh, I don't know, a plug on a wall or something if you want whatever works for you. But, you know, that's some of the hints uh, that I have for, especially for beginners, choose big items. And then they also said, I think Ron says like, don't use, if you're using one item and then you finish here and you're gonna go to the next room, right? Don't use the same, uh, like if you're using a chair in the first room, don't use a chair in the other room, right? Um, you might mix it up. So, but, this is used so that you can memorize things in order as well. So well, the first thing you want to memorize is you, you file it on the piano. You file, then the next thing is you file it on the cabinet. You file it on the lamp. So this is how you use a memory palace. You stand at the door and then just go in a circle. I go counterclockwise. You can go clockwise, whatever, whatever way you want to do it. But I would suggest you stick to that from now on. So if you go counterclockwise, which I did, I go counterclockwise from the very beginning. I don't know why, just easier that way. And I'm doing that from now on. I don't go one room counter or uh, counter and the other other room the other way. I don't do that. Just stick to stick to always the same direction. That way you won't mix up stuff, right? Okay. So that's the memory palace. All right. So you want to, so let's just do, let's say I want to memorize the disciples names again. So I want to memorize it in order. So first thing is piano. So piano is Simon Peter. So I, Peter Pan is playing on the piano singing. Um, maybe, uh, uh, is there, you know, Simon from American Idols judging him. That's how I memorize it, Simon Peter, right? And then the next one is Andrew. So in the cabinet, uh, Andrew pops out of the cabinet and scares me, okay? Third one is James, son of Zebedee. James comes out and turns on the lamp and it's not working. And, oh, my friend James, right? Or there's chains wrapped around the lamp and then the chains are tightening up and it breaks the lamp, right? Four is John. So John, um, I'm throwing a 
toilet at the TV and it breaks, right? Five is window and I, I keep flipping the window blinds or something, I'm just flipping, window, window, flipping, flipping, flipping for fill up, right? Six is Bartholome Bartholomew, right? Uh, so Bart Simpson is jumping up and down on the couch, right? Um, seven is Thomas. So Thomas, Thomas train is going choo choo around the coffee table or something like that. I'm just creating these things right now, right? And the benefit of this is that you can be like, you know, you can you can say backwards, forwards. You could be like, hey, who was the fifth disciple um, uh, named in Matthew? I'm using the Matthew version. Uh, you know, I just be like, okay, in my head I go one, two, three, four, five. Oh, window, Philip, right now. So, I mean, it really doesn't come in handy in this portion, but like, let's just say you're memorizing uh, the Beatitudes or the Ten Commandments, right? Like, what's the fifth commandment? Oh, fifth commandment is Captain Hook and he's bound down to my parents, honor your mother, honor your father and mother, right? So, um, it and you know, you can use this for anything, like for school, for whatever you want once you get it. So, but this is the memory palace. So. How, that's how we can, you know, I, wherever I go, I'm trying to create more memory palaces because I'm trying to memorize scripture, the books of the Bible, you know, the Bible itself. So everywhere I go, I'm going, okay, I take pictures as Ikea. I take pictures at wherever I go, you know, not Spirit Farm or whatever, um, the museum, any, any location that I go to, I'm going to try to create it because the more memory palaces you have, the more things you can stuff to memorize stuff. So it works really well. So try it out, practice it. Um, okay. And this one, I'm not going to go through it real quick, but how, um, this is how to memorize numbers, right? So each number has a sound to it. Zero sound. One is t d sound. Two is an n sound. Three is a m sound. Four is an r sound. Five is an l sound. Six, j, sh, j sound. Seven is a k, g sound. Eight is a f, v sound. Nine is a p, b sound. Watch my other video. I'm, I'll explain it way better. And then you use vowels to make words. So basically, you're making... Um, words with numbers so example if i want to memorize like 99 right that's a put bus on i use baby 99 is baby why b b 9b 9b and then i make vowels so i put a and y to make baby so if i want to memorize the word the number 99 baby right so watch that other video. But these are the techniques that I use. This is used for chapters and verses. If I want to memorize any numbers in the Bible or chapters and verses. So um, let's just say, um, I don't know. Okay, 2 Timothy 3.16. How do I memorize that? 2 Timothy. So I have two Timothys. My, fun, my, um, my former pastor's son is Timothy, right? So Timothy, I have two Timothys. Three is a McDonald's sign. And then 16 is a dish. So maybe two both Timothys, uh, they have a plate and they're, uh, um, they're catching McDonald's uh, hamburgers. Oh, this doesn't really help because I'm kind of um, changing it a little, but that's how I use this, okay? Um, uh, I don't know, Hebrews 9.27 is Hebrews is He-Man brewing, right? That's my image for Hebrews. And then nine is a B and then a B is flying and then 26 is next, so, uh, you know, uh, He-Man's neck grows long and then he bites the bee. He rules 927. So it's these crazy stories that I have to create, but it, it's easier to memorize than just actually going Hebrews 927, Hebrews 927. And the good thing about this stuff is it's all very long-term. I have, sorry, I have this up, but I memorized uh, the actual um, 10 commandments using the memory palace. And I'll probably do a video on that too. But the benefits of doing all this is basically for long-term. This is the best long-term memory technique that I, I've tried. You know, you don't have to use it. Um, if you just memorize scripture by rote memory, that's good for you. But I have, for me, it worked good. So, and like I said, you can use it for anything. I mean, for school, like if you were able to memorize numbers, like, you know, you memorize dates, you know, all kinds of stuff. Uh, names, memorizing names is good for anything when whoever you meet, like um, I did a video on that, so watch that. But yeah, um, these are the basic uh, steps for mem um, 
the for the techniques that I use. So I hope it helps. I'm sorry, I talked a lot, but yeah, um, it's very important, you know. Psalm 1997, oh how I love you, I meditate on it day and night. You know, Psalms 1 talks about, you know, um, blessed are those who meditate on the law. Um, gosh, all over. Joshua 1, 1 8 says, keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you'll be careful to do everything in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful, right? I, I, a lot of people memorize Joshua 1 9, but then I, this is my opinion, but if I'm reading Joshua, I go, you know, the most important verse is not Joshua 1 9, where he says, you know, do not, do not fear, um, be strong and courageous for I will be, you know, I will go wherever you go. Like my, my thing was actually John 1, 8 is more important because keeping the law was what's more important because, you know, if, if you look at Joshua, read Joshua again, and then, um, yeah, they were, they were going and they were conquering other people, but then there was a point where I, uh, I, uh, Chan, um, didn't follow obey didn't obey God's law, right? He took stuff. Him and his family took stuff. And then when they went to war against I, they failed, right? I'm sure Joshua and them were thinking, hey, God said, fear not, he will go before us. But they failed. And then it was because they didn't obey God's law. It's because Achan, Achan didn't obey God's law, right? So I think always memor meditating on scripture, memorizing scripture, always having it in your heart is is important. I mean, you know, look at Jesus, you know, when he was attempted in the wilderness, how Satan was using scripture incorrectly or, you know, um, but uh, Jesus fought back with scripture, right? Um, Ephesians 6 talks about how the word is our sword. Um, uh, Hebrew, Hebrews 4.12 talks about how, um, you know, the, the word of God is acted and living, living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword. So um, I think it's very important to remember scripture. So Z, I hope this encourages you and everybody else to do it. Um, I'm going to keep throwing videos to, um, uh, so that, you know, to show you how I memorize certain verses, verses, verses. Uh, but yeah, keep it up. And I hope it encourages you. And those who say that it's too hard, um, it's not an excuse not to memorize scripture, right? We are called, for example, I, I, I remember a pastor saying this, but let's just say, you know, oh, it's too hard. It's too hard to do this. Then just work harder. That's what he said. Because, for example, evangelism. Some people say, you know, oh, it's too hard to evangelize. So that it, are you, do you have an excuse not to evangelize now? Uh, I doubt it. So you work harder at it. And I, I'm memorizing gospel verses right now with a group of people right now so that, you know, we when the time opportunity come, comes that we're able to share the gospel. Yeah. Um, yeah, there are some people that are really, that have the gift of evangelism. But, you know, the, the Great Commission was for the disciples and for us too. We're called to go and therefore, wherever you're at, go and therefore, you know, um, make disciples, baptizing in the name of the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit, right? And teaching them to obey the commandments that I taught you, right? And he tells us he's going to be with us, to the, you know, with us to the very end of age. So, you know, I, I think the pastor ended with, can you imagine, you know, meeting Jesus and saying, oh, I didn't spread the gospel because I just wasn't good at it, you know? you're going to blame God because you didn't get the gift of evangelism when, you know, that's not, you know, it, it's still a requirement for us to do uh, anyways. Uh, but yeah, um, work hard at it then. And I'm giving you a tool to help you not work hard, but work smarter. So don't be lazy. Christians, like I said in the other videos, Christians are not to be lazy, you know, 1 Corinthians 9, 24, um, Colossians 3, 23, you know, all these verses talking about how we have to work hard as if we're working for the Lord, right? Run the race as if you're going to obtain the prize. But anyways, sorry, uh, uh, hope this helps. Um, so um, keep it up. 
I'll keep throwing videos so you can get ideas, watch the links, watch the guys that I, uh, the, the guys, the people that, that uh, teach this stuff and to help you with ideas. I'm just doing it to show you how I memorize stuff so that maybe it'll give you an idea to memorize how to memorize something. All right. So anyways, um, just remember, all scriptures God breathe useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, training in righteousness, so that the servant of God is fully equipped for every good work. Let Christ's words dwell in you richly. Colossians three sixteen. All right, all right. Thank you. We'll see you. Bye bye.